We start with a new chapter of chemistry one and that is about electrochemistry. So when we start with electrochemistry, first of all we'll try to understand what exactly the chapter is all about. Now first of all is we say electrochemistry as a branch of chemistry and that also being very specific we talk about physical chemistry now this is going to deal with the interconversions of two types of energies one which is called as chemical energy and the other one is electrical energy. I hope you understand this word, interconversions. The reason is very simple. Because energy can be converted into one form to another. It cannot be created nor destroyed. That you also know very well. But here we are talking about what? Conversions. Chemical energy into electrical energy or electrical energy into chemical energy. So this is what that we are going to discuss as far as this particular chapter is all about. Now, before we actually go into the in each and every concepts of this chapter, first of all, let us consider some basic terms involved in this. Now, whether it's a reaction taking place in a way where chemical energy is into electrical energy or electrical energy is into chemical energy, we require always two electrodes. Okay, and those electrodes are being called as one is cathode and the other one is called as anode. These electrodes will behave as a medium for a reaction to take place. Okay, that means for allowing the substances to get deposited or evolved. Now, when you talk about cathode and when you talk about anode, there are two types of reactions which are taking place. Okay, whatever I am discussing, that is with respect to electrochemistry as a whole. That means I am talking about CE into E or vice versa. So, what happens in this? When we talk about cathode, we always remember that in the cathode there is a reduction. Now, what is reduction is, we are going to define this in terms of electrons. We are going to define this in terms of electrons. There are many methods. जहां पर हम इस शब्द को डिफाइन कर सकते हैं लेकिन एज फार एज दिस पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर इज कंसर्न वेर वन ऑफ द एनर्जी इज इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी हु इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिफाइन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स सो वेन इट अबाउट रिडक्शन रिडक्शन इज नथिंग बट इट इज गेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स रिडक्शन इज नथिंग बट इट्स गेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स Similarly, at anode, remember always oxidation takes place. And oxidation is loss of electrons. Electrons are lost. That is called as oxidation. Okay, so these are the important definitions that you need to keep in mind. Now, when you talk about electrochemistry, as I said, that we have a cathode and anode both together. That means what? Reduction and oxidation reaction both takes place together. So that means what? That we are talking about a reaction which is called as redox. Okay, so redox is basically nothing but simultaneous, ek saath, simultaneous oxidation and reduction reactions. are called as redox reactions. It's also being called as, the other word for redox is also called as disproportionation. Where one of the species undergoes oxidation and the other species undergoes reduction. Okay, so this becomes the introduction part about electrochemistry where we talk about, it's a branch of physical chemistry interconversions taking place between chemical energy and electrical energy. 
then we talk about electrodes always two of them are there cathode as well as anode always at cathode reduction takes place that is gain of electrons always at anode oxidation takes place that is loss of electrons and in electrochemistry both these reactions that is oxidation reduction takes place simultaneously or is it a se bola jata hai redox reactions ya to fir use disproportionation aise bhi bola jata hai now we go into the other basic terms which are being involved in this particular chapter okay sabse pehle we talk about conductance now what do you mean by conductance conductance is being symbolized by capital g okay as far as this chapter is concerned conductance is denoted as g now conductance is in simple words is nothing but allowing the flow is about conductance so we say conductance is nothing but it is the reciprocal of resistance is the reciprocal of resistance so what is resistance is it is going to stop the flow conductance means what it is going to allow the flow resistance is going to stop the flow so therefore we say it is the reciprocal and therefore we come to a relationship which says g is equal to 1 upon r now this r which i talk about resistance is expressed in terms of a unit which is nothing but ohm so therefore the unit of g we say is nothing but it is ohm inverse or we also say siemens that is given as s siemens or ohm inverse that becomes the unit for conductance the next part which we go for and that is we talk about is specific conductance now when you talk about this specific conductance is nothing but it is given as conductance into cell constant specific conductance is given as conductance into cell constant now this specific conductance is being given a symbol that is nothing but it is k now i'll define what do you mean by a cell constant now cell constant is nothing but it is a ratio and it is a ratio of the distance between the electrode divided by the surface area of the electrodes what is cell constant is it is nothing but it is the distance between the electrode to the surface area that means suppose if we express distance in terms of centimeter then the surface area will be centimeter square and therefore the unit will become centimeter inverse okay so specific conductance when we talk about which is given as k is conductance into cell constant conductance i have already explained to you that is it is reciprocal of resistance now the units of that is ohm inverse or we also call it as siemens cell constant is a ratio of the distance between the electrode to the surface area and that is given as centimeter by centimeter square so that means it comes out to be centimeter inverse so therefore we say the units of k is given as siemen centimeter inverse okay it is given as what siemen centimeter inverse and that is what we talk about in terms of specific conductance now we move on to the next term the next term is called as 
equivalent conductance. Now this equivalent conductance is just given as simple as uh, we can talk about inverted V. Now this is given as K into V. Now this V stands for dilution which is going to be expressed in terms of CMQ. And you know very well, dilution is inversely proportional to concentration. Okay, because if I increase the dilution, I'm actually decreasing the concentration. Now, if we are going to express concentration in terms of gram equivalence per liter that is dmq then we have a relationship which says that v is equal to 1000 by c okay if concentration is expressed in terms of gram equivalence per liter then we have v is equal to 1000 by c and if we are going to substitute over here so we have an equivalent conductance given as K into 1000 by C and because this C is expressed in terms of gram equivalence we can also write it down as K into 1000 divided by N where N stands for normality because normality is expressed in terms of gram equivalence. Molarity is expressed in terms of number of moles. Right? So this is the difference between normality and molarity. So here I said concentration is expressed in terms of gram equivalence. So we are going to write it down as N. So we have another formula for the equivalent conductance which is given as K into 1000 upon N. Okay? So please have a look at it.